SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft has docked at the International Space Station. And this comes one day after the four-person crew took off from the Kennedy Space Center. There was a brief delay due to an issue with the capsule's docking sensor. The crew expects to work at the ISS for the next six months. Joining us now is Casey Dreyer. He is the Chief of Space Policy at the Planetary Society. Welcome. Thanks very much for being with us. So talk a bit more about this delay. When the crew was docking earlier um, this morning, what took place there? Just a, ultimately a minor issue with a sensor saying one of the hooks wasn't grappling correctly. They were able to troubleshoot it and solve it through software fix very quickly, mm -hmm. and they docked just fine. It's just you know a small thing, but a reminder that space is hard, and even small things going wrong have to be taken very seriously um, and could really ultimately threaten the lives of astronauts and hardware, so you have to be very careful with this stuff. Yeah, I think some of those astronauts have even said it's a reminder every minute they have in the back of their mind, they think about these small things that can go wrong and they have to be ready for. So now that they are there, what work is next? What's on the to-do list? Well, there is four new uh, crew members on the International Space Station. They'll spend the next six months up there. And all of the work that the crew on the space station does is ultimately working to establish how humans can live in space better how they can do it longer, how they can be more healthy and, and sane, frankly, while they do it, <laughs> so we can get further out, right? So the International Space Station, this is our testing bed. This is our international testing bed to practice these types of space flights to get us to the moon and ultimately onto Mars, which take much longer than we're even six months we're talking about here. So it's, you know, medical tests, you know, hardware tests tracking bacteria and even things growing, you want to make sure you want to handle all of these complex situations. So when you're going to Mars, you don't realize you need to turn around and come home because you can't. Right. I mean, it's endlessly fascinating, frankly, mind blowing yeah. to think about that. Right. You can't just pop back home uh, in the event of something that you <laughs> forgot, <laughs> let's say, back on Earth. Yes. So this crew, Casey, is replacing the current team at the International Space Station. What does that handoff process actually look like? Well, there's, right now there's 11 people on the space station. That's just a temporary situation. Uh, crew 5, which has been there for almost six months now, will be going home soon. And there's just a formal handoff. There's, you know, it's Expedition 68 to Expedition 69. It's, you know, a, a technical kind of handoff, but basically it's to keep the station running smoothly. There'll be a new commander. They shake hands, they go home, and we prepare for the next round of people. The, the International Space Station is a very busy place these days. Lots of crew fully manifested as uh, flight schedule coming up. It's just, a you know, lots of handoffs, lots of interaction, lots of science, and lots of ultimately better knowledge about our place in space. Didn't realize 11 people kind of crowded up there, but you need all <laughs> yeah. that cooperation. Casey, thanks so much. Before we let you go, over your left shoulder, there's some kind of space object, <laughs> spacecraft. Can you just tell us what it is? <laughs> that just so happens to be the International Space Station, though my model is a bit simplistic. It's in Lego, but it's okay. a great facsimile to practice. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Very relevant to what we're discussing. You're talking to two space geeks here anyway, so uh, we appreciate all of that. Casey Dreyer. Happy to be in the club. Yes. Thanks for joining <laughs> us today. Thank you.